Hello everyone. Welcome to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. In the previous lecture, we had seen about array reduction methods. In case you missed that video, I'll share the link in the description. You can go through it. Today we are going to see a coding example of array reduction methods. I had taken a module named array Re reduction methods. In that, I am going to take an array reduction array. Uh, for simplicity, I have taken just two elements so that we can easily analyze the output. I have created um, the integers to save the result of different array reduction methods for some product and XOR and OR. Let's run this example and then we'll analyze the output one by one. So I have hit run. The first method which we are running is sum. So when you see the output of this, it should be the sum of two elements, which is one plus three should be four. Here, if you see it's four product is multiplication of elements. 1 into 3 should be 3 and we'll do bitwise and so the array elements which you have is 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 it means it should be 1 means 0 1 and 3 means 1 1 so 1 and 1 if you do and it will be 1 0 and 1 if you do and it will be 0 so the final output is 0, 1, which is 1. Similarly for OR, if you see, OR means if any one value is 1, the output is 1. So if you try to check OR of 0, 1, 0, 1, OR with 1, 1, the output will be 0 OR 1 means 1, 1 OR with 1 means 1. So 1, 1 is 3. Here if you see it's 3. XOR. What does XOR do? XOR means if both the elements are similar 0, 0 or 1, 1. The output is 0. And if the elements are different like if you are doing 0 XOR with 1 or 1 XOR with 0. The output is 1. So 0, 1 XOR or with 1 1 we are doing so the output will be uh, 0 XOR with 1 will give you 1 and 1 XOR with 1 will give you 0 1 0 means 2 so here if you see the output is 2 I hope with this uh, array reduction methods is clear to stay tuned to such content please subscribe to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel thank you